Sorry, it's been a while since I've made a video, but I've had some stuff going on, both in my life and in the game that I wasn't able to make a video before now. Today, Scopely introduced two new primes in the game, and they're scalable primes, and they have multi-levels to pay for to advance. I know that one of the content creators does not like this, but I'm telling you, these two primes are game changers for your ships, and they make it much easier to level and tier them up. And I would highly advise, if you can afford to at least buy the $100 packs for each one of these, that it will greatly help your game out. As you can see here, um, I'm at level 7 on the engineering and level 6 on the uh, ship parts. So each of these you get level 1 through 5 for the $99.99 or $100. Bucks. Um, you get the first five levels. Then every level after that, it costs $100 to upgrade. So you can see that I bought three on this one and two on this one so i spent 500 bucks but i can tell you man it was a game changer today i was getting ready to do my last upgrade to go to uh, ops 50 which was my guns or turrets i needed to take it from 48 to 49 and then i had to um, upgrade my ops to 50. so I was going to need every mat possible to do that. So I didn't have a whole lot. You know, I've been saving up all week for this. So I did have uh, more than I needed, but it, this was going to take a huge chunk. And believe me, I wasn't even sniffing the last upgrade I needed on my Kolinar and my Katinga. They were huge. They were the very last upgrade that takes the most mats and parts, and I wasn't even sniffing it. So after I did this, I was not only able to go to Ops 50, I'll show you. Here's my Kolinar. As you can see, I was able to tear it up to tier 10 today. And not only that, As you can see, I only need two more. So this was the difference of not even being able to do this last big one. And, and you can see right now, it's even smaller on this last one than it was before. I needed 71,000 rare um, to make that upgrade on the last one. And you can see that it, it, it I have even less on this upgrade for that. So... It was a game changer. Like I was able to do all these upgrades and the last upgrade when I wasn't even sniffing it earlier this morning before I did these primes. Now we're going to go to my Katinga upgrade. Same difference. I got to do that last upgrade, which I wasn't even close on, like I said. And I was able to do all these except for these last two. I got the the big one, which isn't that big once you take all this stuff. I'll be able to probably do this in the next week. And then the cargo bay, which I think that's the least important one for that, for this ship. So I always do that one last or, you know, sometimes I'll do for doing a spend event because this one's the easiest one to to do, I will do that for the spend event because you can see that I've already done it on, on my uh, Colinar because I thought that was going to be the only one I was going to be able to do. And, uh, but no. Um, so I was able to upgrade my ships and go to Ops 50. I'm going to talk about going to Ops 50 in another video, so I'm not going to get really go into that. Um, but I was surprised when I got to 50. Put it that way. I would highly recommend getting these primes if you can afford it um, because they will help you, your ships. I think it actually it will help the players under 50 more than the players over 50. But I think it's going to help everybody. But I can remember when I was in the 30s how hard upgrading my D4 and my Enterprise was. The really huge gas and that really huge crystal thing. 
that's going to cut that down probably to a third if gauging on what it did to these ships. So it, it'll make your, make your life a lot easier trying to upgrade your station and your ship at the same time. I think it's worth it if you can afford it. And if you can, I understand. But don't let some content creator crap on something that can change your game. This is a game changer. So if you can afford it, I say go for it. I wish that I had extra money that I could tier them both out. Uh, hopefully this will go into the store where you can continually upgrade as you got the cash to do it. I only had a cash to do it $500 worth, and I hadn't planned on spending that. I was going to spend $300 on something else, but um, when I saw this go in the store, I dropped. The other thing's going to have to wait, and uh, I, I purchased these because I knew that the impact it would have on the game, and it really does. This has the maybe as much or bigger impact as the the rep packs that they've sold um, because this makes your ships so much easier to upgrade. So until next time,